So this is the next episode of Loadout Lottery. I was now level 34 and still somehow managing to complete tasks, but Tarkov Shooter, Punisher and Humanitarian Supplies were barriers to my progress that I was hoping to work on. Loadout Lottery! I started the day off with a scav run. Not a bad scav at all. The mustard blueberry scav. Did I get 30 something minutes? Of course I fucking did. I don't know how I used to bang around this map before. Because they're just savages at the start of the raid. And to be fair, I shouldn't spawn in at the start of the raid. I checked the rogue camp to try and get some free loot. Are you? But the rogues were already looted. Oh. After finding some ammo, I headed to the train station. Well, that's where I was before, so I'm glad I left there. What the fuck is that? Oh. I noticed the rogues were angry. Someone's shooting at someone in here. They were shooting at me? Because I went into the fucking tower. And so it was time to roll the first kit of the day. Still cocked on a couple of tasks. Um, Punisher and humanitarian supplies specifically. <sighs> Anything can happen. I'm laid out the lottery! It was good for a second. God damn it. I put together the loadout. That is an expensive boy. Well, it's a nice looking Mosin. And queued into woods. I don't think I've ever had that spawn. I wanted to level sniper skill, so I went to find scavs. Those are the scavs I wanted to kill. Somebody was already killing them where I was headed. Fuck off! And the same thing happened at the next spot. Why are people everywhere where I want to kill scabs? I had a daily to extract at the car, so I took that and reset. It'd be great if scabs spawn here, but of course they will not. I moved across the map killing AI. And came to terms with them no longer spawning at Sunken Village. No need to worry about scabs in fucking Sunken. It got real dark real quick. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so I didn't see the death coming, but I rolled a new kit. <sighs> I will change the gun. A Mosin or a VPO or a SV. The Joker had given me a chance to work on Tarkov Shooter. The Ergo will help us heaps. I suppose I shall go into factory. And I queued into factory and went looking for players. This guy was hurting, but I didn't want to risk the bolt action. Ooh. Had to do it. I also needed grenade kills, so this worked out. At least it's a grenadier kill. I looted the body and reset the raid. I managed to get a Tarkov shooter kill. Timmy down. And went looking for more, but only found scavs. If I could just get one more. I queued back in to try and get the last kill. I didn't want to push through this door, so I settled with a grenade kill. And got myself a 215 with AP ammo. Oh, that instant crouch, dude. Actually so dumb. I really wanted this last kill, so I stuck around in the raid. 
I managed to complete a scab kill task. You would have heard that. But then a geared player found me. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck, I'm struggling with these tasks this way. I handed in the scab task. Oh, I finished that one. I'll take that. And unlocked more. Easy. Ah. Ah, balls. Then I got a visitor. Hello, fat man. What is he looking at? He's literally staring at nothing. And rolled a new loadout. Oh, I needed specific gear to do tasks on Shoreline, so I went looking in stashes. I was worried about the spawns behind me. I fucking did see someone. My god. My kill had the exact gear I was looking for. Got one of them at least. So I did a scav run instead. 36 fucking minutes! Locals, arrive. Locals have arrived. I headed over to the train station. Why? But the rogues were still angry at me. So I skirted around the camp. Oh, he's a scab. Sorry, I didn't realize you're a scab. Once I made it to safety, an airdrop flew by. How to die 101. So I went to investigate. Absolute death sentence. And thought I saw players looting it. Player or scab? Well, they're players. I couldn't pet his helmet. Oh my God, they're still there. I repositioned and set up for the kill. He's dead, by the way. After another reposition, I ran into his friend and noticed my mistake. Hey, man. Hey, oh. y'all, did you just kill my friend? Uh, are you a player? No, I was scabs. Ah. Oh. I thought you were a player. Sorry, man. I, I genuinely am sorry. I thought you were players. Ah, it's just all our scabs. It was just you. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Hey, I want to take all, your, take all this loot because I want to take all this. No, no, no. You, you grab it. I don't deserve it. I fucked up. All right, man. Have a good one, dude. To punish myself, I didn't take any of the loot. Tell your friend I'm sorry. Oh, I fucked that up. I extracted in shame and rolled a new kit. Choose helmet. I can choose the Untar helmet. Maybe I can get an Untar armor from Fence. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to get the armor I needed and kit it up. All right. And queued into woods. God, I hope we don't die. But the task I needed was on shoreline. So I looted on my way to the car extract and managed to get out safely. All right, I have everything I need. It was finally time to finish humanitarian supplies. Oh God, I hope I don't die. I just need this guy's place. A kid laid into shoreline. I was only nine seconds late, but still, and went to kill my scavs. Yes. I finished the task and got a scav vest that I could use for Punisher. Then on my way out, an airdrop came down not too far from me. Fuck those are a drop, but God, I wish it had shut its fucking mouth. Fuck, that's painful. Oh God. I killed some more scavs on the way. And hunted down the airdrop. I looted as quickly as possible, sure the players were on the way. 
which was quickly proven true. I waited until they couldn't hear me and extracted. Where's my fucking extract? Get me the fuck out of here. And after so long, handed in the task. I still need to punish your kills with the scab vest, so I queued back in. Well, easiest way to get players is to go to resort. Go away! A player had made it into the resort before me. Fuck, there was a player right there, Jack. So I moved up a level to cut him off. Alright. Then I noticed the scabs were angry at someone. So mad at somebody. They were struggling with the scabs, so this was a good situation to take advantage of. Oh my god, look at them. There's another one. I managed to kill one, and the trap was set. Ah, oh, I fucked up. I decided to reposition to the roof. <gasps> and there were a lot more players out here than I thought. I sprung the trap and got some even juicier bait. I just joined him. There was still at least one left, so I repositioned again. What on? What on did? I got into position and checked my bait. Oh, the yeah, Alton's still there, chat. I waited a while, and eventually somebody started looting above me. But then I was distracted by more activity outside. <laughs> they have to be different people. They have to be. <laughs> With that kill, I attracted the attention of the player inside. He nearly killed me, so I retreated below. Oh, he's a smart cookie. Where I was able to heal and have a suck. Then a scab blocked me from coming back up. So I repositioned again. And it wasn't long before I found another player out there. Hello. But I messed it up. Oh, chat. I fucked it because I was on full auto and I'm also bad. I repositioned yet again and found a snack. Does he try and go all the way around, maybe? I couldn't get shots on anyone again and time was running out. How long do you think I need? So I popped an SJ6 and went to see if they were still waiting. Now is he still out here? He is. Hey man, you've been waiting a real long time. There were two left. Can you kindly fuck off? Like, do you just want the loot? See, personally, I need kills. 
I don't need to survive. At this point, I was just trying to waste their time so they couldn't extract. You've been ADSing quite some time, haven't you, mate? Uh, I guess we're all going missing in action. They were getting impatient, but didn't push. So I figured I might as well give it a go. Shit. I tried. I can't believe there was still two left. Holy shit. I already had one kill from last video and got five in this raid. Four more. I mean, that's pretty good. Not too bad. And that marks the end of this episode of Loadout Lottery Season 2. I'd made some progress in the task that I was stuck on, but there was still a lot of struggling left before I'd be done. So stay tuned for that. He's alive. Hey man, are you alive? Though he has to be disconnected, right? I didn't know you could still push people. Hello? He's back! Wait, who's shooting? No! No, man, were you disconnected or something? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And be sure to ring the bell so you stay notified. Also remember, this is recorded live on Twitch, so come by and let me know what you think. Link is in the description. See you next time.